Ride-sharing companies Uber and Lyft have been fully operational for one day here in Nevada. Today, they received word from the Clark County District Attorney's Office threatening citations and fines if the company's drivers operate at McCarran International Airport and its related facilities. Uber said it has 1,000 drivers signed up and on the road in southern Nevada. The company and their drivers, who they call independent contractors, are required to have a county business license in addition to a state license on their own. Their companies cannot advertise the ability to operate at McCarran in addition to the McCarran Renta Center as well as the North Las Vegas, Henderson, Gene and Overton airports until this business license issue is resolved. Nevada Governor Brian Sandoval and other officials turned over ceremonial shovels this morning to break ground on a new Department of Motor Vehicles office in Las Vegas. The new building with 38,500 square feet of space is a replacement facility for the aging DMV office located at 2701 East Sahara Avenue in Las Vegas. It is scheduled to be completed in December of 2016 with an opening date set for February of 2017. The new facility is being built just to the west of the existing DMV office, which will be demolished after the new facility is complete. The site will be paved over for parking. Governor Brian Sandoval said today that Nevada's private sector job growth led the nation in the first quarter of 2015 with an increase of 45,100 jobs. The Silver State grew at a rate of 4.4 percent during the first quarter compared to the same period in 2014. The George G. Berry House has become the latest addition to the Nevada State Register of Historic Places. The State Register is a list of properties in Nevada that reflect the history and traditions important to Nevadas. George G. Berry, a prominent political and judicial figure in early northern Nevada, constructed this house in 1874 as his permanent residence during the early development of Winnemucca. A Carson City judge's decision about Nevada's two-tier minimum wage law could mean more workers are eligible for higher pay. Judge James Wilson struck last month struck down two portions of Nevada State Code that allowed employers more latitude to pay $7.25 an hour rather than $8.25. A provision in the Nevada Constitution allows employers to pay $7.25 an hour if they provide health insurance to employees and $8.25 an hour if they don't. The judge ruled that employers can't count tips when calculating how much workers are getting paid. The ruling has has been put on hold for now. He also ruled that employers can't simply offer insurance, but the employee must accept it before the employer can pay the lower wage. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada.